Selena Gomez is feeling unauthentic and celebrated her 24th birthday in tears. Yeah, and then Calvin Harris is partying with Kim Kardashian, lip syncing to Kanye West. And Ariana Grande was rejected from the White House. All this and more on today's rundown. It's Monday, you guys, and you are back at the Daily Hollywood Rundown. I'm Ryan Adams with my girl, Drew Dorsey. Hey, hey guys. Hey, right. I think we're going to talk about Rihanna heading to TV later. What? Yeah. <laughs> All right. But first, we're talking about Ariana Grande. So much drama. Drew, boo, boo. Ariana Grande, she's single and got rejected from the White House. No. All right. So that might not all yeah. be true. But you guys, Ariana Grande was banned from performing at the White House function last fall after she made headlines, you know, for licking a donut and saying she hated America. Mm -hmm. And this is all according to an exchange from the recently hacked Democratic National Committee email. So Ari, she was being considered as a performer for a gala for the president of the United States, which is like a huge deal, but in an extremely detailed back and forth that took place last September, she was ultimately deemed unfit for the job. So in short, Grande's appearance at the White House was dismissed with a simple, nope, sorry. Awkward. Can you imagine? I would be so sad if I was gonna go to the White House and they're like, oh, you licked the donuts. Cause they were probably like, in talks already, somebody probably already had invited Ariana, and then after that video leaked where she kind of said she hated America, yeah. they were probably like, this is not a good look for America to then have Ariana Grande come to the White House and perform for the president. So yeah. that sucks. Sorry, Ariana Grande, but she's doing fine. She's fine. She looks good. In other news, the world is speculating that Ariana Grande is a single woman. So get this, she took to Twitter writing change, feeling free, happy, banging. So she was indeed <laughs> referring to her new bangs that she debuted on Instagram over the weekend that are totally amazing, by the way. Yes. But the world is freaking out that the change was indeed after a breakup because you know how girls like change their hair or drastic Gosh. things about, about their lives after they Always. break up with somebody or Always. they just want to like look and feel different. I always uh, gained 10 pounds. <laughs> what? I would do the opposite. I would probably like lose a bunch of weight and gain muscle. I'm always like, I need yogurt land, I need in and out. But you gotta look Emotional fresh for eater. a new man. Yeah, you but know then what I'm I get saying? over it. I get over it after, and then I like going, okay, I'm gonna go to the gym now. All right, so Perez Hill, and he broke the story as Ari also tweeted, life is wild and change is effing fantastic. So only time will tell if this is only a haircut or actually has meaning behind it. But for right now, I think she looks bang it. I like it. That's not an easy haircut to pull off. <laughs> I do too. She's also been going ham about Pokemon Go. Are you a fan of no, that? I am not doing it. I refuse to do Pokemon My Go. My friend was on it yesterday, Jesus. and I have to say, I was on it for like five minutes, and you I got did? kind of addicted. I didn't download it myself, but. I don't even know you. It seems fun. Okay, so right, Selena posted a really cryptic message on Instagram <laughs> kind on of sad. Kind of sad. Okay, so early Saturday morning, her birthday was just on Friday. Mm -hmm. She was like perfectly fine. She was Snapchatting, talking about how happy and excited she was for a show that night. And then like during the show, she was about to perform Kill With Kindness and like she got a little emotional. Like she didn't like full on cry, but she just like seemed kind of like off. Oh, something uh -huh. was wrong. So later that night, she posted on Instagram saying, tonight I felt extremely unauthentic, unconnected to both myself and my music. I've never really felt like my materials wardrobe or a video could define me. I act on a moment and fear something that hasn't happened. I'm stagnant, I stay still, and don't just sit with myself first and ask, is this where I am wholeheartedly? I've always told the truth, I'm always true to my word, I've shown who I am, but I need to rethink some areas of my life creatively and personally. Had to get that out. Then she added, not being negative about anything I've done, I'm grateful for every single moment I get here. Indonesia, you were loud and clearly inspiring. Love you so much. Oh I my don't gosh. Know what this is about. Well, I, I, I mean, I'm not famous like Selena Gomez. I don't know what it's like to be famous right. like that, but I get it. If you're on tour, it would have to be exhausting. And being in front of all of those people that are screaming your name, it still probably wouldn't feel authentic. And she's probably like questioning what's real, what's not real. Right. I, it's a hard place to be in. It's hard, but then a lot of people are speculating saying that it's coming from, she was under a lot of scrutiny after the whole Taylor, Kanye, that Snapchat thing she spoke oh, out for yeah. Taylor. And then like people were like attacking her, like, oh, why are you speaking out now? So I don't know if that has anything to do with it. People are like making that connection. <sighs> well, Probably just not. having that know. many people follow your life and watching your every single move, you would have to like sit back every once in a while and be like, oh my gosh, what is happening? Am I doing yeah. the right thing? Is this 
a, a path that I want to continue going down. But she's Selena Gomez, so she obviously will. We she hope will. that she can get it together and come out on top. Love you, girl. All right, so Rihanna is our queen. Yes, and not her. only is she just singing anymore, but she is back to acting. She is officially joining Bates Motel for their fifth and final season. Yay. She has checked in to the Bates Motel, but rather than just lending her voice for singing, she's instead going to be doing all of the screaming. So Rihanna, she surprised Comic-Con goers over the weekend with a shocking bit of exciting news. Although she wasn't physically in attendance during the San Diego convention, Rihanna gave the surprise of a lifetime during Friday's Bates Motel panel with a video revealing that she would not only be joining the cast for its fifth and final season, but that she'd also be taking on Marion Crane's character, the legendary role originally played by Janet Lee in Alfred Hitchcock's 1960 horror film Psycho. Take a look. Yes, hello Comic-Con, it's your girl Riri, and let me tell you what a bad bitch is about to do. I'm about to check into the Bates Motel very soon. Guess what else? Guess who's playing Marion? Season four of Bates Motel left up right to the speed with where the events of Psycho took place. So this seems like the perfect time to introduce the badass that we all know and love. And if you remember the 1960 horror film, here is the character Riri will be playing. gonna kill it, uh, literally. I love Jesus. that scene. There's so much blood, so much screaming. <laughs> I honestly think we've seen like Bitch Better Have My Money music video. Like oh she God. is the perfect person for this character. Now I can pull off Cray if mm. anyone can. <laughs> yes, she can. Many of the show's alums will also be returning for season five, including Vera Farmiga, who will be returning as Norma Bates, Freddie Highmore as Norman Bates, and Olivia Cook, who is set to return as Emma. And also, if you guys haven't watched this show, I think everybody will be now that Rihanna, oh, their yeah. favorite superstar, is joining the cast. Click bait, but on TV. Okay, guys, so Calvin Harris was partying with J-Lo over the weekend for her birthday, mm -hmm. and she was he was also at the party with French Montana and who? Kim Kardashian. What? So, <laughs> okay, so everyone's gonna make connections to like, oh, Taylor just had this whole thing with Kim on Snapchat, but look, you guys, Calvin and Kim were there coincidentally. This was for J-Lo. Do you think it was a coincidence? I feel like when you're going yeah. to a party that is hosted by J-Lo, you know who's going to be in attendance. No, you don't, you don't know. So, so, okay, so also people are freaking out because Calvin recently did a Snapchat like lip syncing the Kanye song. Oh my gosh, what? <laughs> Look. She the female OJ. Y'all don't feel me, man. It's okay. It's kind of weird because it's come literally came after like a week <laughs> after the drama. But he, hey, I lip sync the songs all the time hey, like in the car. He knew what he was doing and I like it. I am about it. She has thrown <laughs> so much shade his way. So I think yeah. for Calvin to be like, oh, I'm kind of team Kimye is everything. It's a big step. That's saying a lot. And he, made, yeah, you're right. He knew what he was doing. Yeah, like, like you sing Kanye because you like Kanye or you like the song. Calvin, yes, he might like Kanye <laughs> too, but he is posting that video in revenge of Taylor Swift. He knows Taylor's watching every single he, move. He, to the T T Y. -T -Y. <laughs> But do you Calvin. think, what do you think the conversation between Calvin and Kim was at JLo's oh birthday party? You know they were bringing up stuff. She, he was, she was like, oh, I heard that Taylor's trying to take credit for your songs. And he was like, what's this whole thing when she's like, trying to defame your man? Like, I don't even know. I would love to be a fly on that wall. All right, you guys, another Monday, another episode of The Dirt is complete, but we would never leave you guys without some questions. <laughs> First up, I want to know, what do you think is going on with Selena Gomez? Do you think she's just having like a quarter life crisis? Was it just a moment? What's going on? And also wish her well in the comment section below. Yeah, but then I want to know, do you guys think Calvin is team Kim, yay? What? I, I don't know. I definitely think as of right now, he probably is. You Juicy. guys, let us hear it in the comment section below. Follow us on the social meds. I'm at Ryland Adams. This is Drew Dorsey. Underscore, underscore Dorsey. Those two underscores. Two. You guys will be here every single day. We love you. Bye. Bye. Click to the left to hear all the details on whether or not Tom Hiddleston is actually leaving Taylor Swift. Oh my gosh. You click over to the right to hear about Demi Lovato claiming Disney gave her PTSD.